There's seven ways you can make money with AI art like this, like having AI create incredible product designs for you. These designs can be sold directly to clients. Just look at these mouse designs, motorbikes, even sneakers, all created with AI. In the past, these kinds of product mockups were limited to big companies with huge budgets, paying artists with decades of experience. Not anymore. You can now create insane designs and sell them to small businesses that would never be able to afford traditional product renderings. If they have a product that needs improvement or visualization, Midjourney can help you do it for free. It doesn't matter if you're already a designer or you're just starting out. This is nuts. The opportunity is quite literally sitting there just waiting, ready for you to seize it. Plus, you can use ChatGPT to write all the sales emails for you. You really have no excuse not to do this. But hold on. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. What exactly is Midjourney? And what are the other six ideas you can use to make money from it? I'm gonna break down what it is, as well as tips you can use to make yourself super efficient at creating incredible, profitable images. When you combine the ideas here, you'll be well on your way to your first thousand dollars. Midjourney is an AI art generator. You put in the words and it returns an image approximation of what it thinks that you want. Kind of like your own personal digital artist. And like a digital artist, the better you get at communicating what exactly you want, the better the results you get. Let's say you're selling a notebook for artists and you want a perfect product shot. Here's the prompt notebook in Midjourney, which is fine, but the result's pretty basic. Let's tell the AI who our audience is within the prompt and try out notebook design specifically for artists. Product shot, white background. A few extra words made it way better. We've gotten to the point where anyone can make a good image, but you need to learn to speak to the AI to create a sellable image. Midjourney functions through Discord. You sign up, join the Midjourney server, and then head over to one of the newbie chats. Now these are essentially public threads where you can create AI images for free. All you need to do is type slash imagine and then type in whatever you want designed, literally anything. Now these public threads are a bit chaotic. If you want the ability to chat with AI without strangers creeping on whatever you're working on, you'll have to subscribe and then click the bot to message it directly and create a private threat. Now warning, this thing is like straight up coke for anyone remotely creative. You're going to lose hours to it. Seriously, as soon as you start, it's addictive. Oh. Yeah. But as I said, you can use it to make money, both through original ideas and enhancing existing ones. This video isn't sponsored, but I felt I actually felt compelled to make this because in the past month alone, with messing with this, I've saved about $3,000 in digital art costs thanks to Midjourney. And it's hard for me to even put into words how great of a tool this is. I use it every single day, like this for instance. Being a YouTuber, which it's kind of weird to call myself that, but I work with a ton of video editors and they have a pretty tough job. Finding unique images and a visual style is difficult to do, especially if you're tasked with creating brand new, never before created images. One custom image can easily take an entire day's work. History Dose is a great YouTube channel that uses custom painted images within its videos. For most of you, unless you're an amazing painter, this is absolutely impossible to compete with, unless you use Midjourney. With AI, you can create any image you want, significantly enhancing your abilities as a video editor to provide unique visuals or create wild images that would have otherwise never existed. You'll notice in my videos, we're already using AI to make memes of me. Or put me in different scenarios. Here's me as a zombie, a mob boss, or even a Playboy bunny. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Give you me a good old rub. That one wasn't my idea, but mastering mid-journey in this way will significantly pump up the value that you add as a creative, meaning you can charge a higher rate. The wild business ideas here are endless. Take this, people go nuts over their kids' drawings. Every parent thinks their kid's doodle is the next Van Gogh. So how about this? Sell a service where you take kids' drawings, actual drawings, and turn them into real Van Gogh variations. Here's how I'd sell this. Make a simple website like, I don't know, I make your kids are good.com, where photos can be uploaded directly by parents. Then make a simple ad for Instagram and Facebook targeted towards parents with the caption, your kids art made famous. Charge $10 per upload and boom, you have an automated AI art business. Lenza did this and they made tens of millions of dollars with profile pictures. But to do any of this, you're gonna need to know a little bit more about Midjourney. First things first. 
Once you've given the AI your prompt and it's returned a set of images, you can make variations on the one that you like by clicking the corresponding V button. And then when you see your favorite choice, you can upscale it with the U button. Now, light upscale redo, that button improves image quality and adds some details. Beta upscale redo, that improves the image quality but without the details. You can also re-roll, which gives you new variations on the same prompt. You can even respond with an envelope emoji, which will send all images to your DMs. Or if you respond with an eggplant emoji, I'm just kidding. It's simple and intuitive to use this, but getting comfortable with all these features will dramatically increase your earning potential. And that's what's really important. I've got a bunch more techniques in this video, as well as a secret prompting trick that you'll see coming up really soon, as well as even more ideas like this one. Web design is a massive market. We all know that. Every day, dozens of jobs are posted. However, it can be rough. Clients want you to make a site that looks like Apple designed it on a $400 budget. But maybe you're not good at the whole design part of the gig, or your client doesn't even know what they want. They're just hoping that you'll read their mind somehow and conjure something cool out of thin air. Sometimes clients are like that. Enter Mid Journey. You can use a unique function of Mid Journey to make the mock-up part of this job a thousand times easier. Midjourney is wonderful at coming up with web design ideas, but you can make it even better by feeding it existing website images. Just get a link to the image, give it to the AI alongside some specific prompts to adjust it, and then it'll use the image as part of the new creation process. You can even use your own images to do this for anything, not just web design. Once you've got a solid design and the client likes it, just code the final result, or better yet, hire someone else to code the final result for you well, you focus primarily on the customer service end and the initial mock-ups, the sales side of the business. Here's how I'd sell this. Grab the link in the description for Upwork. Make a profile, create a portfolio of work to showcase within your profile, then search for web design or rebranding jobs on Upwork. Identify what each and every client wants, and then plug that into ChatGPT to write up a custom sales email for every individual client. Do that 100 times and you'll have more work than you possibly know to do with. Now, I do need to give a warning. With AI businesses being so new and lawsuits coming out, it's extremely important that you protect yourself from any risks here. Because of that, I highly recommend getting yourself an LLC. What this does is separates you from the liability of the business, and it's one of the easiest ways to protect yourself. I've been working with Northwest Registered Agent for my last few LLCs. They've been great, they're quick, they're simple, they're cheap. I'll have a discount link for them in the description below, but I highly recommend ensuring that you protect yourself with any business especially AI businesses right now with it being so new. Now, there's something that I need to explain. As I said in my videos on ChatGPT, your ability to prompt is gonna have a massive impact on anything you do with AI. But here's a little trick. You can intertwine the two and actually get ChatGPT to write your mid-journey prompts for you. Here's exactly how to do it. This prompt by TikToker Justin Feinberg is a great starting point here. I'll also have the exact text that you can copy and paste in the description below. Plug it into ChatGPT, then give it a follow-up prompt saying this. Now you have to phrase it like this because ChatGPT doesn't actually know what mid-journey is, but it does understand the mechanism through which Midjourney works. Now you can prompt it to your heart's content. Here's me trying to make Gotham City. Not bad. If you're struggling with AI art, this will massively help your prompting ability. Now back to the ideas. Many of the tweets that your favorite influencers write aren't written by them. They're written by random people like you and me. But here's the thing. Memes are a big part of this. Memes you can make on mid-journey. A few weeks ago, I was bored and I tweeted a few meme images of luxury goods made by discount brands, and the results were pretty awesome. I also made some terrifying alternate reality Jim Cramers, and that was using simple prompts. But you can go way further. Mid-journey has a community showcase section where you can see incredible art on display. And here's the thing. If you click on an image, Image, it gives you the option to copy the command or copy the prompt. This allows you to gain access to prompts used to create these amazing showcased images. Copy prompt copies the prompt. <laughs> copy command copies the prompt and the codes used. So it's almost always better to use the command. Now, don't be a jerk and go around stealing other people's images. That's their hard work. But use their prompts to study how incredible images are made on a prompt level and use them as a launching point for your own images. The more that you do this, the more advanced your prompts will become and the better your final results will be, the more sellable your results will be. 
especially if you're cross-referencing the codes that you find in copy commands with the Midjourney user manual, which has them all listed. Check them out and see what kind of memes you can come up with. Tweet your best memes at me and then pitch your services to your friendly neighborhood influencer. Here's Pepe if he were a Baroque painting. Now think about this for a second. You can take any image from the entire internet and then alter that image to any style using the copy commands function. This opens so many doors. For example, with advanced prompts, you can create insane interior mockups using a picture of your client's actual room or space or whatever. You couldn't ask for a better tool for proposals and client pitches. Here's some quick prompts I gave it to make an old English reading room or a modern office. Why is the plant there? I don't know. Now I can already hear the comments just typing away. Yeah, but this isn't real. I still have to create the room for a client. I'm not creative enough to see the value here. I know, but I'm kidding. But, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. This isn't going to create an entire interior design business for you. I've never said that. I don't think anyone's ever said that realistically. But it is going to make it so you can send out 50 times more high quality proposals than anyone else. If you've ever worked with clients of any kind, you'll know that they often have no idea what they even want. They just have some general idea of the problem that they want solved. So you're a designer and your client says, my living room is boring, fix it. Before AI, you'd have to either create a beautiful mental picture with words on what you can create or spend all day rendering a mock-up of the space. Well, now you can take their room, slap it in mid-journey, give it three totally different style variations, send that to your client and cut out all the tedious work of figuring out what the client even wants. Or you can always just format the business where it's your job to figure out what the client wants and quote them a price before then partnering with another designer who completes the actual job. The same idea applies to landscape design, logo design, t-shirts, products, almost everything design related. Let the AI do the mock-up, helping you and your client decide exactly what you want to create, and more importantly, what not to create. Once you're clear on the goal, it's easy to bid it, sell it, and then have the work done. It's that simple. Now, in a similar vein to design, I also have another idea that I like, which if you followed my AI series, you should watch all those videos. If you haven't, you'll recognize this idea. Restaurants all over your local city are selling great food with crappy menu photos. I see this everywhere. You've probably seen this. The reason why is simple. They can't afford good photography like the bigger restaurants can, or maybe they just don't think about it. That is until you come along with your mid-journey superpowers. Using AI image creation, you can take their existing food photos and use a couple prompts to enhance them into top quality, professional looking meals. Look at this, who wouldn't wanna eat that? You can even give it a stylistic flair or make cosmic cakes. Okay, you probably shouldn't advertise that one. I don't think it's possible, but the point is, there's clear value here to the potential customers. Give it a try, write or generate some pitch emails to restaurants and just start making money. You've probably seen companies like Starbucks or McDonald's, other big companies rock these seasonal products and advertisements throughout the year, particularly around Christmas. And it's great. It makes you feel good and associate those good feelings with their corporations. But that's exactly what they want you to feel. Every business owner knows that this is a good idea, but it takes time and it takes effort to pull that kind of thing off. However, with Midjourney, you can help tons of smaller companies get in on this action super fast. Take a look at these Halloween themed burgers for example, or Valentine's Day cookies, and it doesn't have to be food related. You can plug in any product, advertisement, or website and have it make a seasonal variation. Take a look at what Midjourney does to these business logos when I give them some Christmas prompts or Halloween prompts. Practice this and then use ChatGPT to write a pitch that you can send to companies before the holiday season. Pitch the client the seasonal makeover with sample images and just see if they bite. And if they do, you'll be well on your way to your first $1,000 with AI art. But while you're doing that, subscribe.